Today I am speaking about Tara practice, uh, visualization, uh, healing practice, and uh, recitation of the mantra of Tara. Uh, Tara is liberator. Uh, Tara means, Tibetan word is Dolma. Um, so there's a different uh, ways of uh, practicing Tara Sadhana. Uh, those of you who have not received Tara initiation, uh, you can uh, visualize Tara uh, in front of you and then you uh, visualize uh, seed syllables, mantras and lights um, and you recite the mantra of Tara uh, for the purpose of receiving blessings and inspirations and healing and <clears throat> then uh, at the end Tara dissolving into you. And those of you who have received Tara initiations, then you can uh, visualize yourselves as a Tara. And so this time, first I will explain um, uh, Tara visualization and practice for those of you who have not <coughs> received Tara initiations. So you first sit on uh, meditation cushion uh, comfortably, relax your body, and uh, try to uh, have a calm mind, calm abiding mind. If your mind is not very calm, uh, and if your mind is not settled, then you could do mindfulness of breathing meditation for a few minutes, five minutes. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in slowly, <coughs> a long one. Breathe out slowly, a long one. This way, uh, <coughs> it will uh, relax your body and mind. Then you visualize Tara in front of you, not too high, not too low, uh, about the same level of your uh, forehead, about uh, five feet uh, <coughs> in front of you. And um, I first imagine <coughs> beautiful uh, sky, blue, blue sky. In this sky, uh, you imagine instantly um, a green thumb syllable appeared. T A M, English letter T A M. Uh, you visualize. If you know how to visualize Tibetan letter syllable thumb, green one, that would be good. Otherwise. The English letter is fine. Visualize thumb syllable, green one, and a very beautiful thumb syllable with the nature of light and energy. And then, uh, from after you visualize this thumb syllable, and uh, then imagine beautiful green light emanating, green light keep emanating from the thumb syllable. And then gradually that thumb syllable transform into green tara. Okay. So now you have a green tara appeared and she is sitting on the lotus and moon cushion and um, a beautiful lotus cushion. Uh, in other words, the cushion is made with lotus petals, a uh, pink and white and pink petals. And on the top of this lotus cushion, you visualize moon disc, white moon disc, horizontal. Then on top of this moon disc, uh, visualize a green thumb letter again. Beautiful green thumb letter appeared uh, spontaneously. You visualize. And then light emanating from the green thumb syllable, more light emanating, and 
Then instantly Tara herself appeared and she has a beautiful green color like a color of emerald, precious stone. And she has one face, two hands. Uh, she's sitting um, on the lotus and moon cushion. Her right foot is stretched and left foot is uh, bent. And, uh, and her hands, uh, she's uh, holding blue upala flowers. Right hand is on the top of the right knee holding blue upala flower with the petals open and uh, she's holding the trunk of the upala flower. Left hand she's holding also the trunk of the uh, upala flower and uh, the petals open on, on your left side of the shoulder. And her fingers uh, in the mudra are representing uh, the left hand, hand is in the mudra of representing Buddhas of the three times. What that means is that Tara herself, embodiment of the Buddhas of the past, present and future. So here's the three fingers up and uh, that's, that is symbolized. She herself uh, representing the three Buddhas of the three times. And then her uh, thumb is meeting with a ring finger. This is symbol of um, uh, meeting uh, the, uh, how should I say, meeting or merging and or two tooth, absolute tooth and, uh, uh, and uh, con ultimate tooth and conventional tooth. And also, uh, this symbolized uh, love and compassion and so forth. So there's different ways of interpreting these mudras. Uh, they are not always fixed. There are different ways of you can explain. Her right hand is in the mudra of giving uh, blessings and giving uh, realization, realizations. She is wearing a beautiful uh, silk dresses, uh, upper garments and lower garments. She is wearing uh, beautiful jewel ornaments, crown ornaments, earrings, uh, necklaces and bracelets and so forth. She has a long hair with a, a top knot, rest of hair hanging loose behind her body. And also when you visualize, you uh, imagine the deities divine body is always pure, always uh, perfect and, and transparent and nature of clear light and bliss and not solid uh, material body. So, so now you visualize Tara in front of you. Then uh, you visualize and a small moon disk at Tara's heart. In the middle of the moon disk you visualize Tam syllable standing upright at her heart. So when I say a heart means uh, actually right in the middle of her chest between the two breasts in middle small moon disk and then visualize green Tam syllable standing upright and this green thumb syllable is surrounded by ten syllable Tara mantra Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha ten syllables. These syllables standing clockwise, not counterclockwise. Some people think well it should be counterclockwise because it's a mother tantra and so forth. No, according to Tara teaching uh, said said that should be clockwise. And um, the mantras are also, also green. And they're also a nature of uh, light and energy. And also uh, each syllable uh, producing the sound of each syllable or the sound of the mantra producing self, self sound, 
Sau sounding. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha. Sau sounding. You imagine you can hear the sound. Okay. This is a holy sound and divine sound of Tara mantra. So now it uh, it's locked for some people who are new with uh, Tibetan Buddhism and visualization. Um, might be a little bit complicated, but you have to try everything. Oh, you know, uh, we have to uh, try and we have to practice patience and perseverance, and then slowly, slowly it will happen, and uh, nothing is easy, nothing is fast or instant. This is how it works. You need to put a great deal of uh, effort and uh, patience. And then, now, uh, when you start uh, reciting the mantra, uh, Om Dari Tu Dari Tu Soha, you recite the mantra. When you're reciting the mantra, you uh, you can also use uh, beads, a mala, okay, and you can use any kind of mala you like. And so you usually hold the mala in the left hand, in 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 case like a mother tantra, uh, or you can hold right hand, no problem. So uh, if you uh, have mala, if you like to use mala then it's uh, good. And uh, holding mala is good, it feels good, and uh, it helps to connect yourself, your heart, to the mantra. And uh, and if you, if, if, at this point, if you don't have mala, that's okay. So you recite the mantra, uh, you say Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha. And uh, when you recite the mantra, you don't recite too fast, uh, because um, you might uh, miss one or two syllables. And uh, when you recite two pass, you can't pronounce the syllables. If you recite too slow, then your mind may start uh, wandering. And you may not be able to focus your mind on the, onto the mantra or onto the deity. That's why you don't say too slow or too fast. Not too loud and not too quiet. Just quiet enough that you can hear. Oh, like, Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Tare Tu Tare Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Tare Tu Tare Om Tare Tu And uh, so uh, now uh, I'd like to explain a little bit a brief meaning of the mantra. Uh, the most mantras always begin with Om, Om syllable, Om. And uh, it ends, the mantras ends with uh, syllable Swaha or uh, Pet uh, and, and, and so on. Now uh, here Om, Om is uh, one syllable uh, constructed three letters together A, U, and Ma. Okay. A, U, Ma, three. Put together, you say Om. Instead of saying slowly A, U, Ma, say Om. A represents the uh, divine body of all the Buddhas, and uh, U represents the speech of all the Buddhas and uh, Ma represents the enlightened mind of all the Buddhas. So in this case when you say Om, Tariyatu Tariyatu Soha, Om is representing the divine body, speech and mind of Tara. Okay. So you are invoking, invoking the divine blessings of the body, speech and mind of Tara. Om, Tare, Tu Tare, Ture Soha. First, when you say Om Tare, means liberating our temporary um, sufferings, physical suffering, mental suffering, pain, aches, or so on, so on, so forth, and mental stress, anxiety, fear, and so forth. Liberating, freeing Om Tare. Okay, that's Ture Om Tare. 
no, om tare, tu tare, okay, tu tare, second one, tu tare, tu tare means to uh, purify the causes of suffering. Uh, uh, there are many causes, right? The external causes like uh, chemicals and uh, all kinds of problems in the world, you know, like environmental problems and so on, social problems and all, all kinds of external problems, right? And, uh, and also uh, internal problems such as stress and disease and cause of suffering. So, Om Tare, Tu Tare, to remove and to release and liberate from those causes, temporary causes. Uh, Om Tare, Tu Tare. Ture Saha, Ture, the last part is liberating ourselves completely from cause of suffering, cause of uh, samsara, cyclic existence, and liberating, freeing ourselves from uh, mental defilements such as ignorance, uh, anger, attachment, and all the d different kinds of delusions, and also freeing ourselves from um, karma, and then to obtain enlightenment of Tara. Okay, so this is brief meaning of Om Tare Tu Tare Ture Soha. But also on top of that, uh, as I said before, in your invoking and uh, blessing, bringing the blessings of Tara's divine body, speech and, and mind. Soha, Om Tare Tu Tare Ture Soha or Swaha. Swaha means to establish these realizations and blessings within my own body, speech, and mind. Okay, this is now a brief uh, a, a explanation on how to visualize Tara in front of you, those who don't have uh, initiation. Now I'm going to explain a little bit about how to visualize Tara for those of you who received the initiation before. So now, uh, first you do is meditate on uh, emptiness. Okay. You say the Sanskrit term, Sanskrit word, Om Sabhava Shuddha Sarva Dharma Sabhava Shuddha Ham. Om, all phenomena are empty of inherent existence. All phenomena does not have uh, inherent nature and never had in the past. And uh, Everything is empty of inherent existence. And that means including my own consciousness, my own uh, being as a person, everything is void of inherent, inherently void. So at so this point you imagine your ordinary body, uh, your ordinary body and form, feeling, perceptions, mental formation and consciousness are all dissolved into voidness, into shunyata. This ordinary body dissolved. Now instead of this body you imagine uh, first a letter syllable, um, pum appeared, pum transformed into lotus cushion. Top of this palm syllable, uh, then white letter R uh, uh, appeared. R uh, transformed into moon cushion. Then on top of the moon cushion, you imagine green thumb syllable appeared. And imagine this green thumb syllable is your own consciousness, essence of your own consciousness. Then green light emanating from this thumb syllable, much light emanating, and then gradually you yourself appeared as a green tara, green tara. So now I would, I will not ex explain uh, all the details because I already explained uh, uh, earlier when you visualize tara in front of you. So you visualize yourself as a tara. Then you are uh, trying to generate strong uh, appearance of tara the details if possible. And uh, uh, this uh, generation 
and uh, trying to uh, see yourself Tara, as a Tara clearly is called, called uh, self-generation and um, divine appearance, physical appearance. And then you also generate divine pride of yourself and you say to yourself, I am Tara, I am a Buddha, I am female Buddha, I am a mother of all the Buddhas, okay? So this is called divine pride and it is not ordinary uh, pride and driven by ego, like ordinary, ordinary term, like I am this, I am that, and uh, not, not that kind of I, because there is no I, because already dissolved into shunyata. Where is I anyways? When you look at I, you never find I. This is the emptiness of I. So what you have here is Tara. You are Tara. You are an enlightened one. You are here for the sake of all sentient beings. You are doing healing practice, visualization of Tara for the benefit of all sentient beings. So now, uh, again, if you are a beginner, it's a little bit hard, not a little bit difficult to visualize all these details I'm explaining. but. What do you do when you don't see all these images of yourself? My guru uh, said to me, and if you can't see yourself as a Tara, that's okay. And uh, you just say to yourself, I am a Tara. Okay. There's a Tara in me, in my heart. Also, I am Tara. And uh, you, you just kind of uh, trust you have to trust yourself. You have to say yourself, I'm Tara. Then it can happen because everything is your mind. Everything is mind. Everything is a mental projection. So visualize yourself as a Tara. Then again visualize moon disk at your heart and then visualize thumb syllable in the middle. Then visualize the mantra around the thumb at your heart. So this time now self-healing. What you do is you imagine uh, light shining from the thumb syllable from your heart and light goes up to your crown down to the bottom of your feet all over your body in everywhere your entire body is filled with green light the divine light the blessing of Tara imagine your entire body is purified and healed and transformed again yourself as a Tara and more like a, a kind of confirming yourself as a Tara this is how you visualize your Savatara and do the healing of yourself and you say the mantra again. So you say the mantra minimum uh, 21 times each time because the 21 reciting the mantra represents <coughs> the 21 Taras. Okay, 21 is 3 times 7, right? So uh, 7 is a magic number and as auspicious number, you say three times is more powerful. You say the mantra. Now, uh, what about healing for other people? Okay. Yes, there is endless healing. There, we have so many healing modalities and I can speak about healing of Tara for weeks and weeks, different uh, modalities, different level of Tara practice, like uh, Green Tara, White Tara, Red Tara, Yellow Tara, and Chitamani Tara, one of the highest Tara, and uh, so forth. But we have to uh, go step by step. So here is the simple healing practice for others. So you visualize thumb syllable at your heart and the ten syllable mantra at your heart, then emanate green light from your heart. The light goes out to all sentient beings, especially uh, someone that you uh, know that uh, he or she is suffering and going through lots of uh, difficult time and physically, mentally, then you imagine that person wherever uh, that person is, you send a light from your heart, from the thumb syllable, green light. And light goes to that person, reaching, reaching that person. This light gives uh, peace, gives comfort, gives support, gives encouragement, and imagine that person feels very calm and peaceful, very nourishing spiritually in, in, this, in, in, in his or her or heart. Feel very uh, grateful and you keep sending the light and say the mantra. This will be very uh, helpful, very beneficial.
I think that's all for now. Thank you very much.